Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more.
Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening. There's one of those burning. No, please, stop. I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? Shit, where'd it go? Now, I can defend myself. Tricky bastards. Kill that thing! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! Ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah! of the job. Ah! Ah! Just, just leave me! Ah! 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 The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter! Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Brother, what have you done? 
Mary! Mary! Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Impossible. there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still have so much left that needs doing. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy.
This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing reflection. voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Locked, all right. It's locked.
I'm still in Southwark. Over there! I must reach the West End. Die, Vermin! The strength. A strength I never knew I had. <laughs> If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. London have to say to me. A 
The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. This is a slaughterhouse. It's locked. That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. At last, a little life. See them wet fruit boys get what's coming to them. <coughs> Welcome, sir, to the Turk Boys Turk. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. Not long ago, this mess would have given me a laugh. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah, killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. There's got to be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. The turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. 
You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, i best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. <coughs> good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Oh God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Not long ago. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. 
I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Sayeth the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Using the expert, how would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here, famished, reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I... 
I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. <coughs> I think I'm losing my mind. Not long ago, this was... Evening, oh. sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight, and I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight, and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk, as usual. My God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Hello, sir. Never even been to India. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Uh, sicker than usual, perhaps. <laughs> he whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? 
You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please.